Welcome to labmins.com in a lab video series on Cisco SD-WAN. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of our SD-WAN videos, you can visit our website under the routing switching section. And there you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Hopefully you watched the policy overview in the last video because in this video we are going to look at the first type of the policy, which is the localized control policy. Since this is the first configuration video in this video series, let me give you a quick refresh on our current state of the lab. Let's go over this diagram right here, which is our topology diagram for our SD-WAN lab. In our simulated cloud, we have three controllers, the vManage, vBond, and vSmart, and these are their corresponding IP and VLAN 110, right? This is subnet is 1.1.0 slash 24, and the vManage is dot 11, the vBond is dot 12, and the vSmart is dot 13, and these are also their system IPs. We have four sites in the lab, site 1, 101, 102, and 103, with site 1 being our headquarter. We have two ISR4Ks there, for our WAN edge device, R1 and R2, connected to the core switch, switch 1, local to the site. Here we have a Windows 2012 domain controller that we use for our RDP jump box for the most part, sometime for DNS and CA as well, and the IP is 172.16.32.40, and from time to time we'll be using that as our ping host as well. The site has the firewall that connects the site to the internet, firewall 1. Everything that leaves a firewall will be natted accordingly. For the remote side, the setup is pretty straightforward. Or for site 101, we have dual router over there. Also ISR4K, BR11 and BR12. And the back is just the VLAN 10 and the subnet is 172.17.1.0 slash 25. Site 102 and 103, we have the VH device, 102 being the VH Cloud, BR2. And the 103 is our VH1000, which is the physical router. Both VLAN 10 with a similar subnet. The difference being the third octet being a dot two and a dot three. Each of the site we also have a test PC, as you can see right there. In terms of our SD WAN transport, we have a two transport that we can play around with internet and MPLS. We have those set up for the most part, especially the internet. Uh, for the inter PLS, I believe we just did the connectivity setup, but not so much of the tunnel establishment. As you can see, some of the routers only have one connections right now to either internet or MPLS, and the BR2, BR3 being the exception that they have dual connections to the internet and MPLS. Right now, all of our WAN edge devices are currently joined to the SD-WAN overlay. So they're joined the overlay via the internet, and that's except for the two ISR4K that we have, which is the HQR2 and the BR12, right, which only have the connectivity to the MPLS transport, so it actually goes over the MPLS and then out to the internet at the headquarter right now. And that's how they join the overlay and maintain the control connection. We have pretty much completed the connectivity between all the sites in the default full mesh topology. And this is over the internet transport. And that's only because we haven't really done anything over the MPLS transport. And that is something that we will look at later in this video series to complete. Now switch to the next diagram. There are two routing protocols that we are running, which are the BGP for the route advertisement into the MPLS and the USBF at the headquarter site for the ISR4K to redistribute the route to the local switch. And this is where we are going to use the localized control policy to control the route advertisement, MPLS, BGP, and the local OSPF at headquarter. One last thing that I want to mention before diving into the lab is since the last basic SD-WAN video series, I have upgraded the whole environment to the software version 18.3.3 with the iOS XE corresponding version of 16.9.3, hoping to get some of the latest bug fixes. So if you've been following us right from the beginning of the video series, the basic one, and notice that the version is different, this is why.